night. Tyga, having a West Coast weekend going down one. To clock in at number six. I guess Tyga and Black China back at it again. It's been a lot of drama in the internet, y'all. I, I can't, I cannot keep up. You know, shout out to the people who do blog stuff because I don't know how they keep up. On a day-to-day -day basis, like a million things happen, y'all. I, I, I just, I just, it's too much. It's too much. So apparently Tyga and Black China got some, some drama, something about some custody, yada, yada, yada. Gotta, gotta watch out who you have these babies by straight up i'm not saying that you know there's a foolproof method and one method is going to lead you to success every time because as you all know ain't nothing 100 percent. but while there is nothing that is 100 percent, it's some situations that have better statistics better odds than others and the way people be setting themselves up for failure it, it just blows my mind they putting each other personal business out there spilling the deeds on what happened when everybody found out that he was talking to the child but i'm trying to figure out why she even put that out there because like we all knew we all knew that he was talking to that child the only reason why he's probably not in jail is because her parents let it rock at the end of the day it's wild out here in these streets i can't i can't i, can't. I was in carpool well, not in carpool, but, you know, taking Khaleesi to school and stuff like that. And I, I started listening to Steve Harvey Morning Show, but the podcast version. So I don't got to do all the commercials and, and all of that and stuff. Apparently, something's going down with Brian McKnight, y'all. I had no... Let me tell you something. As much as I know about what be going on on the internet, it's only a blip in the Matrix. I swear. Because I had no idea that Brian McKnight was feuding with his children like this. And what they were saying about something about his new wife and they have another, they have a child together and Brian McKnight apparently went and got his name changed and I didn't really understand it, but it had, I guess I got to just read it because I was listening to it and it wasn't making sense, but he got his name changed so that his son, his latest son, his newest son would be a junior, which that kind of messes up the flow of things with his son who was the junior i don't know maybe maybe he was the junior oh wait a second i think brian mcknight was the junior and he wanted his current son to be the junior right so now it was like two juniors i don't know it's so i, I so i said i said let me go see what brian mcknight's talking about because they said that he had a video right and i'm like dude he got it he must got a youtube page so i went over and to his YouTube page, which is mostly music. And I found a video they were talking about, y'all. I watched this video, it was very short. I had time that day. Cause I'm gonna keep it G real. Yeah, I got time, guys. And I watched this video and I was in shock. I mean, he just sounded like a psychopath to me. He is estranged from his children. And he talks about them as if they're not his kids. I can't even explain it. It, it, it. I don't know how he could get on there and talk about his children that way. And apparently he just got out of some kind of lawsuit issue with one of his daughters who sued him for defamation of character. According to him, they dismissed the case. But he wound up paying her something like $300,000. That part was confusing because I'm like, if they dismissed the case um, why, and, and nobody won and all that, like he was trying to say, then why did you pay? If he paid, he must have been at fault for something. I don't know. That, that was just me deducing. I don't know. But it was really crazy watching him talk about his kids the way he was talking about his kids. Why would you get on the internet and drag them? So anyway... I said, let, let me see what he's singing about as of late. Because I didn't even know that he had new music out. So I went and I came across the video he did of his wedding. And I'm assuming that was, I'm assuming that was actual footage from his wedding. His wife is beautiful. Their wedding was beautiful. They had those, those flower centerpieces that I freaking love, but they are hecka expensive. That's why they wasn't at my wedding. <laughs> <laughs> but they are beautiful they're the ones that sit like so high up off the table oh my gosh they were so pretty but as i watched him in that video something was off in his eyes something did i go god dang it 
I gotta go back out. This is not the right entrance for this Burlington. Something was off in his eyes. It was not, it was like evil. And he had lying eyes, lying eyes. I did not trust him in that moment. The song was beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Um, the video was just amazing to me, but there's something off about him. And I know that's new because I remember watching Brian McKnight on TV and his videos from back in the day. And that was not in his eyes back then. Absolutely not. So something is up with that man. He is, I don't know. He, he got something that is not positive in his spirit. And I think he needs to work it out. Work it out while he still got time on this planet. Because mm -mm, the, what he doing, how he doing. Don't be worried about what we be doing, who we doing, how we doing. Da -da 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 -da. NLE Chopper. How y'all feel about NLE Chopper? He kind of... Mm -mm. I'm unimpressed. Boy, if you don't park Palisade Park, bro. I'm parking in the back. I'm parking in the back. I ain't got time. This is why I park in the back. You really fishing for a parking space? It's right there. The building is right there. Let's go. New Burlington. Now open. Excited. All right, so I had to stop by the purse section. This is cute. I'm seeing a lot of Tommy Hill figure and guests. This is cute. Crossbody Betsy Johnson. It's the aisles for me. It's like super, super tight. Like literally only one person can like get through the aisles at a time. So y'all, I didn't went in. You going too fast. You know this parking lot is tight and can't nobody see. I didn't went in Burlington, out of Burlington, in Sam's, out of Sam's. I was gonna get diapers and paper towels from Sam's, but the freaking diapers are cheaper at Walmart, so I'm gonna have to go to Walmart, y'all. I was not expecting that, but them paper towels was definitely cheaper here at Sam's. This Sam's parking lot is so tight, it's annoying. As was my experience to the 10th power, in Burlington. It don't make no sense how tiny that store is. I called Adrian and I was telling him about it. And he was like, yeah, I could tell seeing them building it that it was gonna be smaller than the other store. I guess I just didn't see it because the other store was in a mall. So I never really gauged how big the building would be if it was a standalone. If they didn't have enough space to build the building, they should have put it somewhere else. That's a nightmare. I have absolutely no desire to go to that store ever again unless I'm buying something from the kids or for the kids, excuse me. I don't know what's going on right here. It's way too many people out in these streets and then the fact that they have construction going on doesn't help. But I'ma stop, I'ma stop fussing because it ain't nothing we could do about it. That whole Burlington experience, I was really hyped up for nothing. And then and then the shelves were so stiff. Like wasn't nothing on the shelves for real, ew. Like I'm over it. Sam's, I don't really get Sam's yet. I had to go in and get a black card because apparently when we went to go get our physical cards, there were no more black, black cards. So they gave us a blue card. So I went and did that. And now I gotta get the app, which I, who is beeping? What are we doing? What are we doing? We're, we're, we're at the light. What are we doing? Yep, it's ghetto outside. And that is definitely my cue to go back to the house. I'm just trying to decide whether or not I'm gonna get me a Starbucks drink because, shout out to Tasha. 
I got me some Starbucks bucks. I could go and get me a little something, something. I'm thinking, oh, I wanted to get the matcha. Yes, I might go get the matcha. My girl here, Br uh, Brittany Giselle, here on the YT, she always gets this matcha and she was like, you gotta get it like this, you gotta get it like this. Screenshot this and go get it. So that's exactly what I did, hunty. I have screenshotted your drink and I'm about to go get it, I think. Where is the Starbucks? I always get confused because this Starbucks is all the way on the other side of town. And well, it's in the next town over and on the opposite end from where I am. So I really don't go to this Starbucks unless I'm on this side of town for something else. And then there's a Starbucks in the Target that I go to too, but that's also opposite side next town over opposite side to me so i guess that's a good thing y'all because if i lived close to a starbucks it would be a problem yeah i would probably go through these phases where i'm in starbucks every day and i'm gonna get what i'm gonna get so i'm gonna spend the seven dollars on a coffee i'm gonna spend the seven dollars on a grilled cheese do you feel me but i don't need to be doing that because that's just too much but i mean the way the way duncan is raising their prices they might as well be a Starbucks because you easily gonna pay $6 for something for them. They think they Starbucks quality, but they not. They gotta come up in the customer service category if they're gonna even compete with Starbucks because let's be honest, Starbucks doesn't have the greatest bean, all right? It's not the best coffee I've ever had, but it is a vibe, it's a vibe. Boo, I don't, I don't know what's happening. I'm so confused, I'm about to go, I'm going because I don't know what y'all doing. It's the consistency for you. Nobody got a stop sign. Nobody got a stop sign. But everybody stopped. There are no stop signs right here. We do not have a stop sign. It's ghetto outside. All right, y'all. So I just ordered Brittany Giselle's iced matcha latte. Girl, this seemed like it's about to be dumb sweet. It, it was a lot of pumps, okay? A lot of pumps of stuff in there. And uh, I'm kind of like a... I don't know. I'm not a tea person, but when it comes to my coffee, I like to taste the coffee. So I don't know how this going to go, but we're going to give it a shot. We're going to give it a shot. Yours said that it was seven something. Mine was eight over eight dollars. <laughs> Y'all don't know I could dance for real. That's what my friends don't know about me. Especially like my distant friends. I think they know, but they don't really know like I could cut a rug all right so I got this we gonna see what it do I did it exactly how she said to do it but again mine was 818 okay and I'm gonna go dirty bird mode and drink it like straight out the cup because usually I'm fancy okay I'm fancy and I'm classy so I drink everything with a straw <laughs> take a joke take a joke unclench Well, that's good. <laughs> okay. I don't feel like I got a lot of venti, okay, because of the cold foam, I guess that's at the top, but I'll take it. It tastes pretty good. I just feel like they didn't make it right or something. Like, they didn't give me enough. Pretty good. I would definitely order this again. Let me see how it tastes with the straw. Cause whatever they put in it sits in different places. Yeah, so all my stuff has fallen to the bottom. I'm fancy. But yeah, I'm on my way home, y'all. I asked Adrian if he needed anything. He said he did not. He got food to eat at the house. So I just wanna watch a movie with my boot thing. I miss my husband because he be busy, y'all. He be busy like he had a game last night i don't know what time he got home but i'm assuming like 2 a.m because and then today he got up and he had to go do something with the food truck because they got like a new food truck so he got up and he did that and then when he got back well before he left we found a handyman and the crazy thing about it is we already knew this handyman i don't know why adrian didn't call him first because if you've been around for a while, you know I talk about the pole barn that my neighbor and his homeboy built over the pandemic that's basically like a pool 
house mother-in-law suite. Well, come to find out his friend, the guy that helped him, is like a handyman and he do everything, y'all, everything. So he's gonna come do our doors for a great price, which was way better than the price from that other random handyman that we tried to get, but never came. And like would say that he was coming, but would never come, never call. And we went through two of them like that. So I was like, yo, go next door, ask the homie, and he came right over, so I'm so happy. They talked about floors too. He was saying that what's popping now, cause we got hardwood laminate. And he said, what everybody's going to now is the vinyl. And not the cheap kind, he said. Because I say the cheap kind, but he said, if you get like the cheaper version, like the five millimeter, that's gonna give you problems. But he said he's done several homes with like quality, and like 20 millimeter or whatever the thicker ones and he said it's worked out absolutely great like water and all that is not a problem that was a problem with us with the hardwood laminate because we had a terrible storm and due to our door not being sealed properly like and it was flooding like water came in and then it, it was the hardwood laminate some of it buckled oh it was terrible one of our threshold pieces is just gone because of the water. It, so, like them doors, they probably the doors that was on the house originally, like when the house was built, I don't know. But it's time, but it's just standard, regular size doors. We don't need anything super fancy. Um, it might get a little fancy when we do the back door because that's double glass back there and I want a really nice one back there. But as far as like the side door and the front door, it's standard size it'll be fine right okay. so the guy came and did that and then i actually started recording and i edited my lock detox vlog it's definitely been eventful today and i'm just really excited to get home yeah i was talking about the drama before it's been too much it was something else that was going on oh if you know me you know i was following Prashawn and Blueface for a minute. I mean, I had subscribed to Zeus Network, watched the whole first season. Like, I was invested. Now, that's not anything that I would recommend that you allow your children to watch. And I'm saying this because my students were talking about it and I told them that they didn't need to be watching it and that it was trash TV. They don't need to be watching it because they're impressionable and they will watch that and think that that's how it was supposed to be because they too have grown up with the internet. Uh-uh, that ain't who you need to be learning from. They don't live in the real world. Nonetheless, they, they're super entertaining to me. They're entertaining to the world. They're very popular. But apparently, Blueface has proposed to Jaden, baby mama. And, and, a weird, and, and the thing that throws me about Blueface, let me tell you something. This is not me coming for them because let me tell you, one thing about them, they got time cuz. They got time to be beefing in these internet streets and they will come for you. <laughs> and, and listen, I ain't got time. I gotta go to work on Monday, okay? You feel me like, mm -mm, I ain't got time for that, I ain't got time. But um, yeah, no, but I actually, I actually, apart from all, you know, the drama and stuff like that. I actually like Blueface. Like, I like his personality, apart from all the girls and all of that stuff. And like, if we could just like remove that part, I actually like his personality. I think he's cool, I think he's laid back. But the internet was talking about, is it, do you think he proposed just to get back at, um, at Krishan or, you know, to be spiteful and hateful towards Krishan. And, you know, Krishan said that that was like actually her ring or supposed to be her ring. And the jeweler came on Instagram and was like, this ring was made specifically for the first lady of MILF music. I'm like, the jeweler? The jeweler is involved? Oh my God, the drama is too real. The ring is pretty and I forgot where they were, but they were like, they had on like matching outfits. I thought they looked cute, Jaden and, and Blueface. I, I did, I did. I don't know if it's my taste specifically because anytime it's like clothes with like the brand print all over it, like you head to toe with that on, that's not really my vibe, but 
I did think they looked cute though. I guess we'll see if the engagement is real if we get, cause they were trying to say it was fake or whatever. If we get some, uh, you know, public knowledge, marriage, isn't that public knowledge? Yeah, marriage um, licenses, okay? I'm sure that will surface or they will leak it. I don't know, but people be saying like, it's staged, it's not real. If it's not real, y'all, then they must have made an agreement. Sit down at the round table. What we're gonna do is we're gonna just act this whole thing out. We're gonna go hard. We're gonna drag each other. We're gonna post. We're going to bring our parents into it. We're gonna fight our family on TV. We're gonna fight each other on TV. We are going to like, it's like they took a blood oath. It's insane to watch, right? It's so entertaining, but it's mind blowing because I just went to Burlington and Walmart. Like this is everyday life. That is not everyday life. But I think Blue, Blue Face does pull them because I think Jaden is very pretty. I think um, Chris Sean is very pretty. I don't really know what Jaden's personality is. Is she a good mom? Does she have a good personality? I mean, like, what's what else is there i'm not sure i feel like her existence is is blue you know what i'm saying i can see krishan's personality she really is her own person she definitely has her own personality i can see it i just i just don't know but it ain't for me to know because that's blue and his girl so i don't know i guess we'll see how this thing play out i don't know but i'm home y'all